What I love about SASH and why I'm proud to be on its board and help it is because we are trying very much to take a sex positive, sexual health perspective. I mean, its, its name is not a coincidence, the Society for the Advancement of Sexual Health. Now, how do you define that? Well, that's what we're trying to do. That's what everyone's trying to do every day of their life. I believe it has a role because, well, for a start, I don't know of any other organization trying to do this. Um, I think it has a future because at the, base, at the base level, every single human being struggles on some level with who they are. Whether you're a man or a woman, or, or somewhere in between, as I'm sure some people would probably like to, to, like to try and imagine. Confusion, fear of what other people think of you, fear of stepping out, fear of living how you feel inside, for fear that you're going to be judged or rejected, cast out, that lack of connection piece again. I think, there's a, I think we have a long way to go, but I think Sash's role is to, is to be a focal point. I would love to envisage a time where if you typed um, some sort of sexual problem into, into Google, um, you know, Sash would be near the top of the hit list as just at the very, at the very least as somewhere where someone could pick up the phone and say, look, I'm, I'm struggling with X, Y, Z and, um, you know, who, who can help? And then we can, we can field them and take, take them in and pass them on to someone. I mean, we've got uh, hundreds of people on our, on our books now, members, who are incredibly well-trained people that work specifically in the field of sex addiction, sexual trauma. That's where I think Sash can, can play a huge role.